House of the Dragon Season 2 has deepened the question of why Lari Strong is helping King Aegon recover from his wounds. In House of the Dragon Season 2 Episode 4's ending, Aegon fell from his dragon during the battle at Rook's Rest. Since then, Aegon has been somewhat absent from House of the Dragon's cast as he slowly recovers from multiple broken bones, the armor that melted into his skin, and severe burns from dragon fire. By the time of House of the Dragon Season 2 Episode 7's ending, Aegon was shown attempting to walk in extreme pain. This was interrupted by the Master of Whisperers, Laris Strong, who insisted that the king must push himself to recover from his injuries as soon as possible, despite the pain it evidently causes. This scene, as well as a similar one earlier in the season, begs the question of why Laris is so committed to helping King Aegon, and what implications this could have on House of the Dragon Season 3 and beyond. Laris Strong knows he can manipulate Aegon, but can't trick Eamond. Laris' motives stem from manipulation and trickery. As is often the case with characters in the Game of Thrones universe, Laris Strong is not helping Aegon completely out of benevolence. Instead, Laris is attempting to push Aegon into regaining his crown from his brother Eamond, the Prince Regent, as the Master of Whispers knows he can manipulate one but not the other. Aegon has been somewhat well-meaning in House of the Dragon Season 2, but he is noticeably less intelligent, less wise, and weaker in political situations than Eamond. Aegon is not an effective king, relying more on the council of others to help him govern. As a member of the small council, this naturally gives Laris more agency. Conversely, Eamond is much more headstrong than his brother and will outright ignore counsel in favor of doing what he thinks is right, or simply what he wants to do. Laris discovered this in House of the Dragon Season 2 when he tried to worm his way into the position of Hand of the King. Under Aegon, this might have worked. However, Eamon shot Laris down by calling him a toad and told him to send word to Otto Hightower as the Dance of Dragons continues. Does Laris actually care about Aegon at all? Laris' actions may have an undertone of genuine care. Ser Laris Strong, Matthew Needham, advising King Aegon to put in effort for his recovery in House of the Dragon Season 2 Episode 7 Image via Max. With the majority of Laris' actions stemming from furthering his own gains, the question can still be raised whether Laris cares for Aegon on a deeper level. This may have been hinted at in House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 6. In this episode, shortly after Eamon rebukes Laris for the role of Hand of the King, the former visits Aegon's chambers. This is where Laris first starts pushing Aegon to recover and reclaim his throne, though the scene is imbued with an undercurrent of emotion that is rarely shown by Laris Strong. Laris begins tearfully telling Aegon about his own disabilities, specifically how his family reacted to the birth defect that saw him born with a deformed foot. Laris explains how his disability has led people to underestimate him his entire life, and how Aegon will now be in a similar position. This is one of the few times in House of the Dragon that Laris has shown any semblance of emotion, potentially hinting that he does care for Aegon slightly more than he would others due to their now shared experiences with disability. What does Laris Strong really want from Aegon? Despite Laris' emotion, he still only wants one thing. Laris Strong resting on his cane in House of the Dragon next to Littlefinger from Game of Thrones custom image by Debenjana Chowdhury. While Laris' tearful breakdown with Aegon hinted at a heart beneath the conniving exterior, the former still only wants one thing from the latter when all is said and done, power. Even the touching scene between Laris and Aegon centered around the other ways people like them must grasp power when the opportunities present themselves, proving that Laris only concerns himself with upping his political standing like Littlefinger in Game of Thrones. This is obvious in Laris' interactions with Eamon too. It is likely that had Eamon agreed and given Laris strong the role of Hand of the King, Laris would have been less inclined to help Aegon. It was only after Eamon diminished Laris' power in the small council that the latter visited Aegon and began to push him to recovery. It remains the case that Laris would not care about Aegon if Eamon had proved more malleable concerning Laris' increased power, proving that his dedication to helping King Aegon stems almost entirely from personal gain in House of the Dragon.